again, bomb explosion rocks or your prison. Welcome to the news and thank you for turning to listen. Sahara reporters reports that the explosion which occurred outside the facility recorded no, no casualties. Now the news in detail. There was another explosion in Abalongo Correctional Center in Oyo Town, Oyo State, on Tuesday afternoon. Sahara reporters report that the explosion which had called outside the facility recorded no casualties. Some residents in the area suspect that the bomb was one of those planted by the gunmen who attacked the prison last Friday. It is suspected that it did not detonate at the time. Security operatives have paid a visit to the scene to assess the extent of the damage. Some gunmen had attacked the facility on Friday, setting all the prisoners at the facility free. The attackers had stormed the facility around 10 p.m. It is quite sad that we keep hearing situations like this. And it is even more saddening that this particular um, article attack by the bandits, they left and the military men came and started whisking the youth of that community one after the other, after the said attackers has left. Isn't it laughable? Somebody comes to tell you that their house is on fire. You come and you light, you add more fuel to it so that it is going to burn down more quickly. That is exactly what our government is known for. And you know when the citizens now criticize them based on this, what do you hear? They come and say, oh, that social media, the, the last um, latest news getting towards us is that, oh, that uh, they're going to start regulating, you know, Post on social media and social media content. And I'm saying when there is, when your house is on fire, when somebody is chasing you and uh, you are running for your dear life, do you have the time to start checking about, because she starts to start putting all this kind of thing to mind? Your house is on fire because of the insecurity in Nigeria. Yet, what bothers you so much is uh, that people post fake news about you. Now, as a leader, be you a leader in, even if it is just a religious gathering or a leader in your family house or in your community, I tell you that you are going to be criticized. No matter how good you feel that you, 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 you try to be good and try to, you know, put everybody on the same pace and put the interests of everybody at heart, I tell you, there are those that will come out and will criticize your work and it does not mean they hate you. I tell you that if you grow with such criticism, you will be better. You will be better than them times 10. That is just the truth. That is the truth. Now, this particular issue, they attacked the facility. They planted a bomb and they left. Or somebody has come back and planted the bomb and the person is no longer seen. All this particular news. They are not supposed to be making the news. Why? If one particular thing is done. Once upon a time, the northern Nigeria is the only place where you find Boko Haram attacks. You will not find it in the northwest. You will not, what am I saying? You will not find it in the west. You will not even find it any other place. But well, now, if care is not taken, they'll start naming these people. They'll name them give them names and at the end of the day <laughs> and at the end of the day it will just be blame you know passing blames this particular organization is the is are the people responsible for this and you know casualties upon casualties will be included it is sad it is because in environments such as this the people are not a right to exercise the fundamental human rights that is where you see um, such things happening. You see accusations coming in from right, left, center. It is even alarming that the so-called Attorney General of the Federation, the so-called Attorney General of the Federation, could uh, 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 come out and, you know, make such statements as the IPO are the one that are sponsoring some of the killings happening around. And even they said, answers protest that the IPO and I'm asking myself, why? Why is there so much, you know, 
why this so much if if it is true then you do not need to prove it uh, 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 so much and of course if you are only right to those around you there's a problem if you're only right to those that are far away from you only do right by those that are far away from you there's a problem there is a big problem so now this particular people now they have been <laughs> this insecurity time and time again i've said if you live in nigeria and you don't even mass you don't even jupiter you don't even neptune i tell you that the insecurity level will spread fast and the way it is spreading this is scary it is scary it is scary first of all it, is in, it was in the southeast then all of a sudden, it is starting to happen in the West. What is really going on? I keep saying it. When a state is unsecure, I tell you what will happen will be that every other crime will continue. It will, crime will continue. The time will continue till... It will continue like this till this issue of insecurity is addressed once and for all. This issue of insecurity was, you know, is addressed once and for all. That is the only time you're going to heave a sigh of relief. Because during that time, all these issues now will not be coming up. All this issue will not be coming up. You will not hear such issue. In fact, any particular issue that comes up, it would be easy to retrace. But now, because we have a lot of place where these particular crimes can be hidden. They can be hidden and, you know, the point the blames to to the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB. They can be hidden. They turn they turn it to they turn it to um they turn it to the Ruba Nation. They turn it to the Niger Delta. They turn it to bandits. They turn it to terrorists and what have you. Crimes and crimes are being committed. And they keep going unnoticed because there is so much insecurity. But if at the end of the day, this insecurity is done and dusted with, the government treats it with hard face. And at the end of the day, it is done and gone. I tell you that no crime is going to be, you know, go unpunished. Because... If you go to where there is so much calm and serenity and so much quietness and you make a noise, it is going to be seen that you are the one that makes such noise. So the crime will be easily traceable, more easily traceable more than now where there is so much chaos and people can just hide under each other's problems. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.